Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to adjust the width of an element using the width property. Um, you can specify the width of an element using width property in CSS value. Values can be given in relative length units such as EM. Uh, relative length means like uh, it's relative to the uh, absolute uh, value of the, the surface that you're styling to. Absolute length, which is like p pixels, and then as a percentage. Um, of its containing parent element. Here's an example of the changes. Here's an example that changes the width of an image to 220. Uh, it's quite obvious. Or a, yeah, and add a width property to the entire card and set it to absolute value of 245 pixels. Use the full card class to set the sele to uh, select the element. Okay, so this is the full card class. Oh, this was really nice. They actually left a blank space, uh, so you don't even have to um, worry about it. So you just write in width, and then you just write in uh, 245. Okay, now before I put in the PX and it starts to reflect, what do we think that this is going to happen? The width of the full card. If we look down here, we can see the class is a full card uh, right here, which means the entire um, depth. So what I'm thinking is that the sides are going to close in. So as soon as I write in, px and i put the colons in there okay it brings it down so that brings in oh the whole css selector was broken so that's why when we were here it just was uh unselected when i put in the px and then there the whole selection so the border came in the border radius the margin and the padding and now it's 245 if we press command con shift 4 we get this little tool for uh judging the width of things and we can see if we pull it to the side and um, we've got 255 which is pretty close um the way that there's a lot of little details about how it, how it comes together exactly so we're a little off but this basically gives us the idea so this is an absolute width measurement and uh, we run the tests it should pass okay great uh this was an easy one i uh, hope you guys enjoyed this please like it and give a thumbs up if you found it useful and i'll see you in the next lesson